All right, powers of products and quotients. These are the types of problems here they're going to be working with. We're going to kind of um, expand these, or another name for these is integer exponents. Uh, a couple rules that we need to, to know about, some basic algebraic exponent rules. All right, first rule would be the product rule. Okay, so that's saying that if you have a to the x times a to the y, that that's going to equal a to the x plus y. Okay, if you're multiplying something that has two exponents, so in other words, you could have like 3 squared times 3 to the fifth power, that's going to equal 3 to the 2 plus 5, or 3 to the seventh. Okay, so basically you have to have the same base. Okay, A, that's the same base. Uh, exponents, they could be the same or they could be different. When you're multiplying them together, when you're multiplying them together, that these exponents, you're going to add them together just like this. Okay, 3 squared times 3 to the fifth. Okay, you're going to take those exponents, you're going to add them together. Okay, that's the product rule. I suggest uh, writing these out. Uh, it's gonna, you're gonna kind of be referring back to these as we're going through these problems. Okay, next rule is the power rule. So that's if you have a to the x, and then you're gonna raise that again. Okay, you have an exponent, then you have another exponent that these get multiplied together. So this is gonna equal a to the x times y. So for example, if you have, let's say two cubed, and all of that is going to be, you know, raised to the fourth power. So here we have two cubed, and then two cubed is being raised to the fourth power. But that's going to equal two raised to the three times four, or two to the twelfth power. Okay, you kind of multiply these together. If you have something being raised, and then it's being raised again, that you multiply them out. That's your power rule. Okay, and the last one that we're using for this worksheet is the power of a product rule. So that's going to be your a times b. Let's say that this is being cubed, that this is going to equal a cubed times b cubed. Okay, these have to be multiplied together. So if these are being multiplied together. So if you have, you know, 2 times 3, and that's being raised, if that's being squared, that equals 2 squared times 3 squared. Okay, the squared it has to be multiplied. Okay, this doesn't count if you have something that's being addition. Okay, these rules are very specific. If it's multiplication, it has to remain multiplication. So in other words, you can't do this, you know, A plus B squared. Okay, this rule doesn't apply for this plus. Okay, it only works if it's being multiplied. So it doesn't work uh, for the plus sign. Okay, has to have multiplication. So then you kind of distribute this, I guess is a way to say it. Okay, this is your power of a product rule. So we'll be using these three rules for this, uh, these next couple problems here. Uh, you could refer to the, those rules uh, as we're going along here. Okay, this first one, 3a squared raised to the third power. So we kind of have this power of the product rule, the one I just showed you, ab squared. Okay, that equals a squared times b squared. Okay, just imagine this here as a and then a squared as the b. So what we could do is we could say that this equals 3 cubed times a squared cubed. Okay, we're just kind of using this, this rule here. Okay, we're breaking it apart like so. Okay, so then uh, 3 cubed, 3 cubed, we know that's 27 times... And then we have this, we're going to use this other rule again. So a squared cubed, that equals a raised to the 2 times 3, which equals a to the 6th power. Okay, so we have 27 times a to the 6th. So our final answer is just 27a to the 6th power. Okay, so once again, these are the rules that we're, we're using here. It's power of the product rule and the power rule okay okay let's do this one it looks very very similar so once again we have this a b k 
Okay, to the fourth power, that's going to be a to the fourth times b to the fourth. Okay, we're just going to say that this 3 is the a and this x to the fourth is the b. So what that gives us is 3 to the fourth times x to the fourth raised to the fourth power. Okay, we're just using this rule for this problem here. Okay, the 3 is the a and the x to the fourth is the b. So now we have 3 to the fourth. Okay, 3 to the fourth power equals 81 times x to the 4 times 4. So once again, we have the power rule where it's a squared cubed equals a squared uh, 2 times 3, which would be a to the 6. But in this case, we have um, x. We're using x. So we have x to the 4th raised to the 4th. That just equals x to the 4 times 4, which gives us x to the 16th. So our final answer, we get 81x to the 16th power. Okay, another problem that looks very similar to the ones we've just been working on. So you're kind of starting to see a pattern now. Okay, so we're going to say that this one equals 2 to the 4th times n to the 4th raised to the fourth power. So two to the fourth, that's two times two is four, times two is eight, times two is 16, so we get 16 times n to the four times four. So we have 16 times n to the 16th power. Okay, here's our answer. Okay, remember we're just using these rules, a times b squared that equals a squared times b squared and then n to the fourth raised to the fourth you know that's just n to the four times four n to the sixteenth okay power product rule and your power rule okay what if we have something like this where we have three times a times b to the fourth raised to the fourth power. Well, that product rule, that power product rule is, even if it's, you know, if there's three things in here. Okay, as long as everything's being multiplied, okay, that's the trick. Everything has to be multiplied here. Then you could do this, you could do this rule. Okay, so in other words, for this one we get 3 to the 4th times a to the 4th times b to the 4th raised to the 4th power. Okay, 3 to the 4th, from earlier we know that's 81, times a to the 4th times b to the 4 times 4. Okay, so that's 81, a to the 4th, b to the 16th power. Okay, you see from earlier, this is your this is your power rule from this step here to this step here, your power rule. Remember, once again, your power rule, a to the x raised to the y equals a to the x times y. Okay, that's your power rule. And the other one is your power of product rule. Okay, this one here, where I took this fourth power and kind of tacked it on to everything here. Okay. Power of product rule. Once again, that's when you have a times b raised to some power, that that equals a to the x times b to the x. Even if you have a times b times c times d raised to some power, that that equals a to the x times b to the x times c to the x times d to the x. Everything has to be multiplied though. Okay, it doesn't work if they're adding. It has to be multiplied together for this for this power of product rule to work out. Okay, 2x to the fourth times y to the fourth, all that being cubed. So once again, I was just saying, a times b times c raised to the x equals a to the x times b to the x times c to the x. Okay, here's your A, here's your B, here's your C. Okay, so we're going to say that this equals 
2 cubed times x to the 4th cubed times y to the 4th cubed. Okay, 2 cubed, 2 times 2 times 2, that gives us 8. Okay, times x to the 4 times 3 times y to the 4 times 3. Okay, remember your power rule. If you have a power that's being raised to another power, you multiply those together. So here we go, our final answer. We get 8x, 4 times 3 is 12, times y to the 12th power. Okay. Okay, last problem on this short video. Here we have 3x squared times 2x squared raised to the second power. Okay, so first thing you could kind of do is multiply these together. Okay, this 3x squared times 2x squared. Okay, 3x squared times 2x squared. It gives us 3 times 2 times x squared times x squared. Okay, remember, everything's being multiplied together here. So you could kind of rearrange them any way you want uh, as long as everything's still being multiplied together. Okay, so that gives us 6 times x squared times x squared. Okay, once again, there's our, uh, our one of our rules. So that's going to be x to the fourth. Okay, remember, you're just kind of adding these together. X squared times X squared is going to give you X times raised to the 2 plus 2. Okay, so that's what's inside the brackets. So we're going to make sure those brackets remain. And this squared is still up here. So we just did what's inside the brackets here. Okay, this is what we got. Here's our squared. We need to bring that down. So now we have this 6x to the 4th being squared. Once again, we're going to say that 6 squared times x to the 4th squared. Okay, so that gives us 36 times x to the 4 times 2. So that gives us 36x to the 8th power. Okay, final answer. All right, here's the three rules that we use. There's more rules for exponents. Uh, we just basically were using basically just three of these rules for these problems. Um, suggest you guys write these out. So once again, here is our power of a product rule. Here is our power rule. And this last one is just called the product rule. All right, you made it to the end of this short video. I want to thank you all for watching. Please press the like button down below if you like this video. If you want to leave a comment, go ahead and leave a comment. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And if you'd like to see more of these type of videos, simply subscribe to my channel for more. Okay, thanks for watching and good luck on your studies.